I'm Glasses Geek, and how's everyone today? Thankfully, uh, I finally got the room all fixed up. As you can see, I finally got it all organized and whatnot. Maybe I'll give you a quick little tour of the place afterwards. Um, but yeah, and thankfully this is, at least visually, this is a lot better <laughs> than it was. So... How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is okay and whatnot. And uh, yeah, the subject of this video today is quite serious. And so give me a second here to gather my thoughts. Um, So, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just going to get right into it. So, this video is about voting and evictions. Now, I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time. This is very, very important. And I'm, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of bring the microphone closer to me uh, in hopes that anyone who's hard of hearing, like I am, will be able to hear me better. Um... Because every time I render one of these videos out, it ends up, you know, I'll even turn it down a little bit because it says that it's spiking into the red here. But uh, every time I render one of these videos out, it renders out very, very quietly. So, but I've made sure that there virtually is no background noise <laughs> or as little as possible. So anyway, to get right into the subject... Um, Okay, you know your voter registration card? So I, I guess I should say this right off. Uh, I didn't think that there was any reason to say this, but you know, if you aren't registered to vote, definitely go and register to vote. And yes, I already know what's coming for the future. And I know that essentially making this video is worthless, but I'm going to make it anyway. Because I, you know, like that little ant that took down a whole rubber tree, I have high hopes. They're worthless hopes. And I know that hope is a four letter word. But I'm making this video anyway, so, okay. So, obviously, if you aren't registered to vote, go and register to vote. And if you are already registered to vote, then good for you. That's very good. Uh, but, first off, if you get evicted, that is essentially moving, so that's the first thing and the first way that you need to think about this. If you're evicted, that is the equivalent of moving, moving out of a residence. So, and I, I don't, I don't care what kind of, I'm sorry, but what kind of bullshit, you know, what kind of bull crap that they're going to shove you saying that's, that's not moving legally. It's different. You have to look at a different, no, it, when it comes to voting, that is moving. It's the exact same thing as moving. So if you, if it looks like you're about to be evicted, if it looks, if you've just been evicted, if you're being evicted, uh, or if you have, if, if you're about to be evicted, or if you have just been evicted, this is really what I'm talking about because, because if you're in the middle of being evicted, then, you know, and I know that a lot of people, especially around Christmas time, are, that's usually when you're evicted because that's when in, in the finance and business market, that's when things change over. I'm not even going to get into that. But this is very important for voting. This is very important for voting. The first thing that you need to do is you need to find out. And what you need to ask is how long from the point of moving, how long is it before I have to get a new voter registration card? Some places say that you have to get a new voter registration card within the month. Some places say that you have to get a new voter registration card within, you know, the next three months. If they say, well, I can't tell you that, tell me where you're moving to, um, you have two choices for that. Say, well, I'm going to move right within the same district. You know, I'm just, I'm going to move like one apartment over. 
And usually if it's something like that, then more than likely you don't have to get a new voter registration card. But, you know, choose the the name, you know, choose the location of a shelter and say, you know, I'm going to move into this area, you know, I'm wondering, you know, or the location of, you know, like your parents' house or your grandparents' house or your aunt's house, or your aunt, you know, choose that location and then find out how long it's going to take, you know, how long after moving into that location you have before you have to get a new vo voter registration card. All right. Uh, and, you know, this is legal and this is to keep people voting. I didn't know about this until recently, you know, until like this year or last year, I think it was. And I wish I had known about this. I really do. But of course, they don't want homeless people voting because they believe that they'll vote Democrat. And guess who they're going to be evicting, especially come November, right around the time of the November elections. They're going to be evicting, first and foremost, the black people. They're going to be evicting poor people. They're going to be evicting anyone who they might think even might remotely vote Democrat. So literally, this is for everyone who's homeless or is about to be homeless. Uh, this is for everyone, obviously, who's who's been evicted or is about to be evicted. So, you know, the homeless. But literally, all you have to do is call up your county election board and find out how long it is before you have to get a new voter registration card. And however long that amount of time is, is how long you have before basically you can't vote, before you have to get a new voter registration card. So if, if they say it's a month, you know, before you have to get, get a new voter registration card, then if you're evicted, literally, like the day of the election, you can still take your voter registration card and go down and vote. You can still legally go down and vote. If you're if you're evicted one week before voting, you can still go down and vote. Even if it's, you know, even if they say you have to get, you, you know, you have two weeks, you know, after moving before you have to get a new voter registration card. Even if the timetable is that tight, you still have two weeks, you know, to be able to vote on that voter registration card before you have to even worry about it. And you just go down to where you would usually vote and you vote. And this is a big one. Find out where you vote. And my state is not very forthcoming with any of that information. Maybe it's the county I live in. Maybe, maybe it's my county isn't very forthcoming. Uh, the place where my parents have lived. Their county is a little more forthcoming, but it's not that good. Um, and I got to tell you, it doesn't, and all the homeless shelters that I was in, it was packed full of white people. So I don't know why everyone's thinking that, you know, only black people are homeless. It's ridiculous. It's a lie. But literally when you're in a homeless shelter, there isn't, there's, you know, they literally do everything they can to block you from voting. So, and I really probably shouldn't get into that, but, and almost everyone I talked to, they, interestingly enough, even though they were homeless, uh, they were all Republican and yet they couldn't vote because they were in a homeless shelter. So that was kind of, I mean, rather eye opening to me, you know, so but I really, that's getting more into personal stuff, which is worthless for this. This is something that I learned and I wish I had known it at the time, you know, but however long it is from the point that you move, and that's what eviction is, it's moving. However long it is from the point that you move to the point where, you know, oh, you moved into a new house, you have to get a new voter registration card, we need to find out where your precinct is, where your, you know, where your voting booth is, where your voting place is. So, you know, 
from the point that you move from this residence into a new residence and now you have to get a new voter registration card, that's how much time you have to vote in your same old place, literally. I know that a lot of people uh, here when I just worked for the voter election board here in, uh, in the area where my parents live just recently, um, it was interesting. They're really uptight about that. They want you to get a new voter registration card immediately. But literally where we live, they give you about three months after moving. And I'm sorry if I'm blowing out the microphone here. It says on the register that I am, but hopefully it won't when I render it out. But anyway, they give you three months. So in other words, if, you, if you're evicted, if you move, you literally have three months to vote in the same place where you were voting before before you have to get a new voter registration card and a new everything. And so if you're evicted here, you have three months in which you can still vote now, and you can still vote in that same, you know, precinct, you know, voting place, everything, literally everything, because you're still considered a resident of that area. And that is very important. And I wanted to let everyone know that, everyone, because I can guarantee you they're going to start kicking people out in mass right around the time of voting. And it doesn't matter what they say. If you've been evicted one, one week before voting, one month before voting, here, if you've been evicted literally two and a half months before voting, you can still go vote in your same old voter precinct or whatever and you will be voting legally and this is this is correct so no one should bar you from voting because you've been evicted and if you're really that worried about it then just go ahead and just grab the name and the uh, place of a shelter or even the place of your parents or something and go get a new voter registration card for that place you know, and then go vote under that address, literally. But the main point here is that just because you're evicted doesn't mean that you're barred from voting and you really need to vote anyway. And call up your local precinct, you know, and don't don't tell them that you've been evicted because then they flip out and they they literally tell you lies. They flat out tell you shit that you know, they literally will tell you that it's illegal for you to vote because you've been evicted. I've literally been shoved that shit. And it's crap. It is absolute crap. Um, you know, and, and the people in the shelter that, you know, I, I talked to that I was with, they, they were shoved even worse lies. They, they literally told, they were told that because they were a Republican and because they were in a Democratic precinct that they couldn't vote, which I've never encountered before. It made me think that they're a bit conspiracy theorists, but I was like, really? You were told that? You know, but that's what they were told. They were literally told that. And so it was, it was to me, it was a little brain exploding, a little brain bending, you know, but that's what they were told. So... And thankfully, I've looked into all this stuff since then, and you won't believe the lies that the homeless are told, that 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 the poor are told, that uh, you know. I mean, there's there's people that literally are renting a room off their friend in an apartment, and they think that they can't go vote because they're not on the lease, and they're not, you know, they're not actually, you know. They're renting a room from this friend and, you know, all this stuff. No, far as I know, you can go and vote too. All you got to do is just fill out the card. And it doesn't matter that you're living in an apartment and that you're, you know, just paying for one of the rooms in there. You're living at this address. You know, if you have mail going to that, it doesn't matter if it's junk mail. If you have mail going to that address, you can fill out a voter registration card and you can get a voter card and just vote, you know? And I actually had one of these poll people that I worked with here just recently. She said, you know, most of the people that live in apartments don't vote. And it's because they move in and out so quickly. They think that there's no point in it. Well, it doesn't matter if you're moving in and out and it doesn't matter if you're renting 
one of the bedrooms from a friend there, get a voter registration anyway, and go and vote. You can go and vote, even though you're renting an apartment, even though you're going to move out in like a week, just get a voter registration card anyway, and make sure that you vote. Just make sure that you vote. So it doesn't matter if you're living in an apartment and you're going to move out real soon. It doesn't matter if, you know, you've just been evicted. It it doesn't matter. You can still go vote. Find out how long it is between ha- moving and having to get a new voter ID card that, you know, and you have, you know, find out how long it is between... Um, having to get a new voter ID card from the point of moving. And that's how long you have to be able to vote, even though you may have been evicted. So this was very clear and straightforward in my head. And it's coming out so incredibly muddled. And I'm not meaning to make it sound muddled. I'm not. And I don't mean to be repeating myself either. I really don't. That because it's so muddled and garbled, um... I I don't know if it's my Asperger's. I don't know what it is, but I have, there there was another Asperger's lady and she was an artist and she actually, I think she was a teacher and a sociologist. I don't know, but she, uh, she had trouble. She, she could say things perfectly in her head, but it would come out garbled. (sighs) But I really hope I'm getting my point across just because you're evicted My main point is just because you're evicted doesn't mean you can't vote on your same voter registration card. Find out how long it is before you have to get a new voter registration card. And that's how long it is you have to vote even though you've been evicted. And I think that's the point I'm trying to make. (laughs) I, I, I hope people don't take this the wrong way. But that that's literally what I'm meaning. So literally call up your voting precinct and find out, you know, how long it is after you move that you have to get a new voter registration card. And, you know, and and I mean the precinct that you're living in right now. So, uh, so ask them, you know, like say, I've, I've just moved into this area. How long do I have before I have to get a new voter registration card? And according to that is how long you have, I guess, until you have to get a new one after being evicted. So I don't know. I don't know. That just, that ties it up even worse. I hope I'm getting my point across. Because <laughs> that simple and straightforward thing that I just said just a minute ago, that's what I meant. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I had this perfectly, I'm going to put the microphone down. I had this perfectly described and explained in my head, but it's not coming out the way I'm wanting it to. And it's coming out all upside down and weird. So I just, but yeah, <laughs> I hope this helps someone. I hope this helps someone who's who's dealing with the 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 absolute hellishness of eviction i i i'm putting this video out for you and i i my love goes out to all of you and i'm on your side and believe me it's not your it's not your fault for being evicted it is never your fault for being evicted i don't care what it is it is not your fault for being evicted you did the best you could. So never blame yourself for being evicted. It is not your fault. That is the most important thing. And even though you've been evicted, vote, 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 vote. I don't care what, just vote. So, yeah. And there's so many more surprising and interesting things that I want to say about this that I've I've learned. But this is the main point that I was wanting to get to everyone. And this is the video that I was wanting to make for a very long time. So there we go. Thank God I finally made it. <laughs> this is a relief to have off my shoulders. And I'm glad that even though it's uh, August 30th, uh, that even though it's the last day of August, I'm still glad that I'm making it, uh, even though it's so 
sorry, so late in the time. So there we go. And, and I love this. This says, this actually says free your spirit. And, uh, and this is, this is my soul. This is me, my motto. So yeah, free your spirit, wear what you want, obviously. <laughs> uh, and that's it for this video. Uh, nanu nanu, live long and prosper. Uh, remember what Mr. Rogers said? It's you I like. It's every part of you. It's your soul. It's your core. It's your personality. It's you. I love you. Help each And I say help each other out. Uh, Robin Williams' spirit, I would say, says laughter and happiness save lives. I agree with that. Uh, he definitely saved my life with laughter and happiness. And I'm still blown away by that. I... I can't wrap my head around that. I'm, I'm grateful for it if I can. If I ever can, I'm going to copy it, you know, if I ever can. Uh, but yeah, uh, my love goes out to you all, especially anyone who's struggling with eviction, starvation, illness, poverty, anyone at all. Um, and I love you. Bye. So, despite eviction, despite eviction please go vote please. And definitely look into this. Bye.